Welcome to Dear Sandy. I'm Sandy Galef, a member of the New York State Assembly, representing parts of uh, Westchester and northern Westchester and parts of Putnam County. And uh, today our program is all about our summer internship program uh, 2019. And I am such a fortunate uh, member of the Assembly by having eight interns in my office, of which four are joining me today on this program to tell you all about themselves and what they've been working on in my office. And I must say that we could not accomplish uh, the work that we have in our office without wonderful interns that, that contribute so much to the workings of state government. And uh, I'd first like to introduce, uh, well, we have Catherine Riley, Maya, and we have Julia. But I'm going to start with Catherine. And maybe, Catherine, you can tell us a little bit about uh, where you are in school, um, you know, what year and where you are in school and how you found out about this internship program at my district office in Osney. Well, I'm a sophomore at Dominican Academy in New York City, and I actually found out about it from Riley. She, we were on the train together. She was telling me about how she signed up for this internship, and I was just, I was really intrigued about it. Right, well, that's great. So what do you do? You, you take a train into the city every day, you and Riley? Yeah, <laughs> we wake up really early. To commute to Dominican Academy, we really love it there. Uh -huh. And where is that located? Um, 68th Street on the Upper East Side. Right. Okay. So you probably do some homework and sleeping and so on on the train a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> Riley does a lot of sleeping. <laughs> so Riley, you are. Tell us again. You know, we, we heard a little bit about where you are in school, but tell us again. So I'm also a sophomore at Dominican Academy in Manhattan, and I found out about this internship through um, my dad received something in the mail from Sandy. So. Mm -hmm. He was like he knew that I was looking for an internship in like local government or state government, and he thought it would be really interesting, and I was really excited. So that's great. So your dad read my newsletter, yes, <laughs> <laughs> which is always good to know, because we do advertise uh, our internship program in our newsletters, and we we have summer interns as all of you are but we often have interns throughout the school year and uh, most of most people are high school students uh, and they might come a day after or one day a week after school or something like that and we sometimes get some college students both in the summer but also um, we there's that time frame in December through January <laughs> so sometimes we have other people coming but uh, well that's great and you think you might go in to, you you were really looking for um, some involvement in government why why is that I don't know I've recently gotten really into government and debates and writing about what I strongly believe in and I knew mm -hmm. that looking for um, an internship in politics would really help me like learn more about what it takes to run in government and okay we'll come back to that <laughs> one <laughs> maya how did you uh, tell us about where you are in school okay i'm going into my junior year at croton Harmon high school and mm -hmm. i found out about this internship when we were having elections um internal elections in student faculty congress and one of the girls running for the president of congress said that she had been an intern with San, with you, Sandy Galef, mm -hmm. and it piqued my interest, so I asked her about it later, and then I called your office and got some more information about it, and then I came in. This is all in October, so I guess I was doing it pretty <laughs> early. But yeah, it was early. I came here, yes. and then you ended up coming to the school for the assembly thing, which was, it just worked out pretty nicely. Right, you all, your, your I, I guess it was, was it the junior class that invited me or senior class? Oh, basically the, that was part of our, school. well, it was part of our committee acceptance committee, which is one of the like six or seven committees we have as part of Student Faculty Congress. And our, we have a theme every year for that committee. And that theme this year was, it was about political engagement and, you know, accepting others' political views and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we always try to bring in a speaker and we, I think, one of our teachers got a letter from you or something along the lines of that. So the chair of that committee, who's, I, am I allowed to say the name? or Her, her name was also Maya, but not, uh -huh. oh, not okay. me. Right. But she 
help organize it and then we all as a committee organized it and we had some speakers and it worked out and it was part of our initiatives for Congress and right. it was a really great assembly. It was it was marvelous. Yeah. I mean I was <laughs> asked all kinds of questions and uh, so interesting back and back and forth. So um, and then we have Julia you want to tell us about you? Yes um, I'm Julia. I also go to Croton and I'll be a senior in the fall and I'm also um, on Student Faculty Congress with Maya and I found out about the internship through one of my friends who did it last year. And then I also had the chance to meet you in Albany in May, mm -hmm. and you also told me about it, and I was really interested. And you've come to at least one of my forums, I think. Oh, right? yeah. Julia, yes, yes. Yes, the one at the uh, Croton Library right. and the Senior Forum. Right. Um, but you also, you participated in the League, and I was a former League of Women Voter President, so yeah. I was so impressed you were up in Albany with the League of Women Voters, what, student conference or yeah, something like so that? Yeah, so it was called um, Students Inside Albany, and it was sponsored by the League of Women Voters. So I was selected uh, from the League of Women Voters of the River Towns to go up to Albany along with about 50 other uh, New York students, and we just basically learned about how New York State government works and um, I had the opportunity to shadow you for a day and also um, Senator Harkham. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was a great a, experience. That's a wonderful experience. Yeah. Uh, did you enjoy the Capitol? Oh, I loved it. It was, <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> and when people go in the Assembly or the Senate chambers, you realize uh, it's very impressive. Yeah. It's really, we have a wonderful state Capitol. So yeah. if you haven't gotten up there yet, and constituents should go up and, up and visit. So, um, all right, let's talk about um, some of the issues. Riley kind of started a little bit with that, that talking about being interested in some issues. So have any of the issues you've been interested in, have they been a part of what you've done in my office at all, or, or are there mm -hmm. different kinds of issues? Yes. Um, I've gotten a lot of emails that I've replied to about the environment and what we should be doing to help improve that and that was something that I've always been really passionate about and so that really helped further my um, knowledge of the environment and the mm -hmm. laws that are being passed to help you know, better our environment. So. Right and I think Riley you were responsible for answering some of my postcards yes. right and this was one about you know the, the world um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, about not using fossil fuels and, and so on, re re renewable energy. So um, you, you were responding to that one and um, I think driver's licenses for yes. immigrants, right? Mm -hmm. We had a lot of postcards on that. Yes, there were many about the undocumented immigrants being able to get to attain driver's license. Right, which is a bill that did get passed. Um, there's always controversy about almost everything that we do. <laughs> but we had gotten a lot of postcards now. I don't know whether these postcards came from Postcard Tuesdays. You, you two are from Croton, but yeah. they have Postcard Tuesdays in Croton where people from all over the area come and write down topics that they're interested in and let their legislators, not just me, but other legislators know about things. and. Yeah. They could have come from there. Yes. We're just we're not we're not always sure. I think there were a lot of people from Croton though that yeah. that we were writing back to. So that was really good. And my on that topic of of energy um, and the environment, I know you're you're working on something for me. I have to give a speech in August. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot of research over the past couple of days. I've been here about climate bills and climate laws that have been passed in the recent session. Um, specifically on the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, which is, you know, a really sweeping climate legislation, and about how it connects to me in school and what I'm working on there in my science research class at school. I've been doing a project and researching for the past year or so, and I'll be doing more research for the next two years, uh -huh. and, you know, conducting a whole research project about how the media portrays climate change and how that changes from different network to network and how that changes people's views on climate change. So it's always a topic I've been interested in, but I'm, you know, generally also interested in all areas of government and politics, and I have been for um, since I was, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's always been a topic of interest for me. Right. So you're helping me prepare for this speech yeah. I'm going to give for the Federated Conservationists, which know a lot about yeah. <laughs> the environment <laughs> and the climate and so on. And we're actually sitting here in the studio after what five days of 
98 degree weather or 100 degree weather. Yeah. So, um, but that's very helpful. I know that you've gone up on the New York State Independent System Operators Yeah, that's website. what I was doing today. I was just looking at their most recent report to find nice infographics that show where the energy we use in New York State comes from, you know, which production, whether it be fossil fuels or nuclear energy and natural gas, that sort of thing, just to see how we move forward to eliminate carbon, to, to eliminate greenhouse gas emissions in New mm -hmm. York State. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do in that area. So, oh, yeah. Um, and we're hoping as a result of some of the things that you're working on, Maya, that um, I'm trying to put together maybe a town hall meeting mm -hmm. on, on that topic. Um, in, in, in the fall or early winter or whatever else. So we're going to have to try to find some expert panelists to come in and um, discuss this and see where we're going. We have a huge goal in New York State yeah. um, to, to get ourselves onto renewable and, you know, whether we can do it or not, I don't know, but we've <laughs> got to give it a try. So uh, anyway, Julia, you've only been in my office. We put you on television after <laughs> two days, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you don't have a lot of experience, but I know you were watching last year's intern program, I believe, this morning. Oh, yeah. To see what it was like yeah. <laughs> to be on television. Yeah. Is it like what you saw? Yeah, pretty bit. much. It's yes. yeah, it's about the same. There are right. a few more of them that day, but <laughs> <Nice>. um, <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go back, and you're going to do uh, a press release. Yes, to announce the program. <laughs> right, you haven't done a press release yet. Right, right. Well, we try to get everybody to do press releases, letters. Nobody knows how to really do letters because you do emails, right? Yeah, yeah. letters. Yeah. So I know Catherine, her first. <laughs> big job was we had gotten all these letters from Croton students mm -hmm. and the topics were all over the place weren't they Catherine like what they were incredible like they were all about so many different topics and they were all so well written it was like crazy to think that they all came from high school students. I know. They were very impressive. They yeah. were um, I think I tried to write down some of the topics but um, they um, they just had fracking, mm -hmm. pup, puppy mills yes. on, on that whole issue, cosmetic testing of animals, um, I think it was one, equal pay, uh, plastic packaging, and many, many more. Um, they were really wonderful. So you learned how to write a letter. Yes. Had, had you known how to write a letter before? A little, but little. not professionally I guess uh -huh. like I've written letters to my friends that live far away right just because okay. it's nice but uh -huh. I really learned how to write a professional letter and how to format it and it was really nice right and it's not easy the old <laughs> rules of either everything's uh, on the side <laughs> down one way or you indent or whatever else so yes yeah, so we go back and forth with with lots of changes in styles and so on and um, I think have you uh, somebody's done a citation I think in my office Riley have you been the citation person yes I'm working okay. on one right now about for the 50th anniversary of the Hastings Center right which is up in my district it's up in um, Cold Spring or Garrison, it's right on the line there. And they are um, a, a, a wonderful organization. There's a think tank about ethical issues and yes. so on. But um, they do a lot about bioethics and the, how that relates to practicing of medicine and do a lot in the science and technology field as well. Right. So. Have you ever done a citation in your life? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> So when we say, do a citation, it's kind of like, oh, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> you probably all get a chance to do a citation before it's over with. But um, people, you know, when an organization is having a special anniversary or when individuals in the community have done something special, like a certificate, we do certificates okay. of merit. I think, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, you're uh, yeah I've done a few. Yeah, me too. Okay, Last the certificate week. of merit. Yeah. Yes. And what did you do that for, Julia? Do, do you um, recall? I believe it was for a... Hendrick Hudson School Italian um, Award. Oh, oh, I know. It was the other night when I went. Yeah, to, it was when the I day went of to Replank. Yes, 
Um, that was that was yes, and I handed that out. Yes, yeah. it was, we had a couple of certificates to people that were getting an award. Yeah. Um, so that's that's really nice. So people now know on because they've watched the show that I don't write everything, mm -hmm. and that you are very very helpful to to the whole process, which is great. So we did just have a senior forum um, in the town of Cortland, and you were all there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anybody have any special thoughts on the senior forum? Um, I think it was a really beneficial experience for seniors, and it was really interesting for me to hear all the speakers, especially about, you know, the Medicare scams and just the robocall scams. And you know, I'm a big Shakespeare fan, so I like the Hudson Valley Shakespeare performance, uh -huh. the yoga, the chair yoga, the history of women's suffrage, and the vaccines. I think that's all of them. And right. but I think those are really, really interesting topics to hear about. And I don't think I'd, I ever would have gone into such depth of learning about them if I had not been at the senior forum. Um, it's just really interesting to know how many people are, you know, in, active in their communities and coming to these forums like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, because I don't know, when I think of my grandparents going to these things, like, I don't know if they would, but it's, I mean, I think they probably would. But either way, I think these speakers were really, really interesting and really helpful to everyone who attended the senior forum. Well, we we try very hard to get all kinds of different speakers on different topics mm -hmm. so that if for some reason you're not interested in one topic, you might be interested in another. And not all, all seniors come, but we really always have a very good audience. And um, But but the, the whole issue of these robocalls and yeah. And, and being um, subjected to all kinds of fraud can really affect anybody of any age. So has, have you gotten any of those calls on your cell phone yes. at all? Yes, yeah. yes. 100%. all the time. What yeah. kind of, Catherine, what kind of calls do you, or you hang up on them I usually, so fast? I usually hang up on them really fast, but sometimes I get like car insurance fraud. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I don't own a car. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I know that it's not for me. <laughs> right. So they have your list. They just got a number and uh, whatever else. Yeah. yeah. Do you get credit card fraud? Do you get any, any card Social security card? ones. Um, like, they're like, oh, your social security number's been compromised. Like, you, or oh, right. it's like expired right. or something. I got that. I get those on voicemail sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm like, ones. yeah. And the woman that the assistant to the attorney general, I believe, is saying that you know, those government departments are never going to actually call you. So they're right. stuff like that, like IRS scams and social security scams are just scams. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things I've always learned from the uh, attorney general's office is mm -hmm. don't pick up the phone if you don't know the number. Just let yeah. them leave a message. Yeah. Because if they really want to talk with you, they will leave a message. Mm -hmm. If not, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I guess they will call back again. Yeah. I don't know. Did you get any feeling for immunization at all? Because we had a doctor there. He was, he was a very interesting doctor um, to go, you know, get flu shots. One of the things they were talking about was the flu. Did it convince you the flu shots are good or not? <laughs> I, mean, I already <laughs> knew that they were good. Yeah. yeah. OK. All right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get my flu shot every year. So it's not like I took any convincing. But I think it was interesting how different the vaccines are for adults and yeah. children. Because mm -hmm. he was saying for the seniors, like, oh, these are the four vaccines that you would need to get. But for there were so many more for people who are much younger. And I think it just shows how much, you know, how many leaps we've made in terms yeah. of vaccinations in the past couple of years so that, you know, we're not at risk for getting like chicken pox or shingles anymore because we just have those vaccines. So it's, I thought right. that was a really interesting observation right. I made. Right. We just don't think about it. When I was a kid, it was polio. Yeah. Yes. And I remember the big policeman, I was living in Wisconsin then, and the big policeman came to the yard, my yard, and said, little girl, you've got to go in the house because there's a polio epidemic here. And that was about the only thing I remember from living <laughs> in Wisconsin <laughs> to up to age four, and then I moved to New York. But it was like, because that was what we were going through then, and now we're going, you know, you, you tend to go through other things, but you don't want to have a huge epidemic. That's, that's the main thing that you don't want to have. So, and um, th we had, uh, I think Maya had mentioned it, but we had the, um, the, some of the players from Shakespeare, yeah. uh, yes. which is up in Garrison in my district under that big tent and, and so on. Have any of you gone to any of those Shakespeare? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, I've seen Macbeth there with my family. <sighs> <Okay>. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was nice. We did like a nice picnic and then uh -huh. uh, watched the show. Right. So we had two performers and they did a little bit of a performance. We were we were part of the audience and performing too with kind of crazy words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was trying to inspire people to go. So and there was a little it's chair so yoga at the yeah. senior forum. Did you all do it? Because I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Yeah, it was nice too. It was really relaxing. Well, the, the person who did it, she said, we've had so much stress with all these topics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's just relax at, at this one. Um, one of the things we do in the office is uh, constituent tracking. So uh, when people send an email to me, we try to have them on a master list. So when we need to send out information about different things, we have their email. We try not to do it very often. Uh, have you participated in the constituent tracking? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Riley, how does, or Catherine, how does that go? Well, so you send an email, then they put it into a folder on mm -hmm. the email. And so you kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, you put the topic? Is it the topic yeah. of the, what they've written about? What they've written about and you put it into the system with their name. So you just kind of have it on file to know what uh -huh. they, what their interests are. Right. And you've yeah. done that too, I think, yeah. Riley. And All right. We're going to have <laughs> to get Julia into the constituent yeah. tracking. Uh, but, but you read about all these different issues that come forward. And, um, you know, I, I know that some of you have done email responses. Uh, we, we can... I don't know, sometimes we can get 100 emails a day. Um, we get more emails during session from January to June than we do now, but, but we're still catching up with all the emails because it's hard to keep up with all the, all the issues. So, so once we have an email coming in, I know Maddie Joel in the office kind of coordinates this. Um, what, what do you do? You look and see what the bill's talking about, uh, what kind of response might go to that issue. You have to find out what I'm thinking yeah. mm -hmm. and so on. I don't know. Riley, yeah. um, have you? So a lot of them are like generated emails. So a lot of them you see the same talk topics being repeated and repeated a lot. And when you say generated, it's probably from an organization yes. or something like that? Yes. Okay. And so you look up the bill because not you don't always know what they're talking about. But after doing a lot of them, you can like memorize the bill numbers because mm -hmm. there's so many on like Indian Point and Puppy mm -hmm. Mill Cruelty. And so you look up the bill and then you write a response and then you, I, we hand it off to you to look over and edit and then we send, make edits and then we send them out and yes. <laughs> right. And, and uh, then you have to do it for the multiple people that, that yes. have sent in something. So, And some of them are very complicated because I don't always know how I feel about a bill either. <laughs> yes. um, but yeah. it's also for me, the, the fact that people email me triggers my attention to the issue, which is important. And I think, Maya, you've done some email responses too, haven't you? Yeah, I did some email responses my first day here, which was a couple weeks ago. So I, they were pretty much all over the place. There were some on, um, I forget, there was a pesticide chlorophyre, I forget what it's called. Yes, yeah, they wanted it banned. Yeah, right? exactly. Yes. And there was right. some others on some golf bill that you were sponsoring, I believe. It's hard to remember because it was a couple of And most of weeks people don't here. like my golf bill. Yes. Yes. Yes, right. That was the, there was a bunch I like of it, emails. I other people don't. Yeah, there yes. was a bunch of emails I was seeing that were like, you know, the same one over and over uh -huh. again, people right. from that one. You know, it's a bunch of people, it's, it's nice to see because you see a bunch of people getting together who just, you know, they're all emailing about the same issue. And it's, I mean, it's good that they're emailing a bunch of times because it does show that there are a bunch of people who are, you know, they are opposing mm -hmm. or in favor of that one thing. Well, it shows that people are involved in their government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see by all the work that you do that people are truly involved with their government that send something or or call on the phone. Has anybody answered the phone yet? I'm not yes. sure. Yeah. Oh, have, I have you? have a few times. Okay. <laughs> when setting up the senior forum and getting um, different companies and places to come to set up uh, like little information booths. Uh -huh. So right. I had to make a few phone calls for that. Right, right. Yes. That's always, you know, everybody worries, well, how do I answer the phone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's part of the, the learning experience. Yeah. So I have to be sure that yeah. before you, uh, as you complete, that you, you have all this done. And lately we've been getting a lot of requests for local grants for all of our communities. Yes. And I know you've been, I don't know, it just seems like every time 
we get another email, either the town of Austin or Croton or Peekskill or somebody is looking for a grant, right? And I think you you both have done some yeah. grant letters, I think. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> um, I just finished one. It they're all so confusing and so hard to explain. But I'm also finishing one up right now. I haven't been in the office recently, so I haven't been able to really work on it. So Okay, well some of them are with the Economic Development Council that they want money. These are all grants to yeah. get money, right? Riley, you've yeah. you've had I've some. I've done two letters. So the first one was for working on like sewer sy systems in like northern municipalities in northern Westchester and then another one was about um, waterfront about getting like more access to that so they're all Austin, right fun. they're trying to check yeah. their water quality <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. right at the Lewis angle Park. and one of them I didn't get like a template they usually give like templates on like what mm -hmm. they want to write so I basically had to like tr try to understand like what they're trying to ask and then like write it but then the second time I got a template so that was a little easier to work on Right. Okay. So, um, would anybody, any of you, ever want to work for government? You probably haven't figured out what you're going to do in your life yet. <laughs> um, but I feel like right? it's honestly running for election. It's honestly, I feel like it's a matter of confidence. You know, like, will I in uh -huh. the future feel like I will be able to actually go and run and do a campaign? But actually, just working for government, I think that would be a really interesting and helpful career path because you know mm -hmm. you're going out and you're helping people and you're trying to make laws that improve other people's lives which I think would be really you know fulfilling mm -hmm. and just it would make a good impact mm -hmm. on the world because mm -hmm. I if I I don't really know what job I want to do or anything but um, I think it's important that my job helps people and I because I don't want to have a job that you know is just to make money or just to hurt people or you know, anything like that. Right. So well, I you wouldn't want to hurt people. Not hurt, yeah. not hurt, <laughs> <laughs> if I hurt people, I don't mean like, you know, hurt people. Right, I just right. mean like, I don't want to do a job that's, you know, not prioritizing helping uh -huh. people and prioritizing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. I think I would too, especially after visiting you in Albany and just seeing the whole scene at the assembly it, and in the Senate as well, it just made government a lot more accessible and tangible and mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was something that I think I want to do. Right. Well, I think sometimes working in it as an intern or, or going up to see your leg legislature, it's not just like reading it in the paper, you know, that your state government did this, your federal government did that. Yeah. You're really there with the action. And I think you can tell from the office with all the letters, people impact their elected officials very, very easily. Yeah, so. It's crazy to think about how like, much impact you can have if you just go out and say something. Mm -hmm. You know, like over the winter, I went with my temple on like a with, with the religious action center to D.C. to you know lobby at the Capitol. To, uh, or I think I uh, I don't really remember, but I was lobbying with my um, senator. I think it was I went with a staffer with Chuck Schumer, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy because you can just go and you can make appointments and speak to people and people always mm -hmm. you know complain that they don't have enough voice or that sort of thing right. but you, you know internships you yeah but internships like this and you know other opportunities they just show you that you really do have a voice in right. you know our government and that and sort Catherine of thing. Catherine and Riley just what, what do you do when you go back to school? Um, you talk about your internship program at all? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, oh definitely so I like I'm on I was on student council last year so okay. I'm gonna try to rerun for a home room representative. Good. But I'm probably gonna use this and just use it as something to drive my campaign. Right, great, <laughs> yeah, great. I've, right. Done, I've written pieces for mm, like newsletters and I've uh -huh. in clubs that we talk about like issues like this and this will definitely help me further my understanding of like what it takes to like the behind the scenes of like putting together forums and all this stuff. So it's been very helpful. Right, great. Well, I want to thank you all for all your good work for the state of New York and for my <laughs> office particularly. I thank you so much. And I want to thank all of you for watching. If you have any questions at all about our intern program or about anything that's going on in the office, please give me a call at 914-941-1111. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening. Mm -hmm.